second and 11 at the 49 yard line. On second and 11 now, Brissett, he's going to launch this thing way downfield, and that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. On third down, Brissett. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A gain of 37. I know we love our jobs and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. We're set on first down. And it's caught. The tight end hill down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Mike, Mike, check, check. Where'd he go? 59. On David. Again, it's Brissett. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And a sack by one of the most consistent D linemen in the game, Gerald McCoy. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, Keith. It's third and long for Brissett. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Will Harris there to make the play. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. And that is going to be no good. He pushed it wide to the right, and this will remain a scoreless game. Always disappointing when you miss a field goal, but when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them when you can. Now a first down throw for Newton. Quick slant caught by Moore. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards and a Panther first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now Newton. He's going to look deep for more. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore with touchdown number seven on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. 
Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. I got one, I got one. A first down throw for Brissett. You ain't doing nothing. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Camara. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Newton flushed out right. He'll run it. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for 26 and a first down. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Draw play as Newton gives to McCaffrey. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be third and ten now. From the gun, here's Newton. And he's got his target. That's more. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 25-yard line. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. On first down, this is McCaffrey. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to split right there. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they'll get this down to the 10. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. The quick slant caught. 
This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? On the ground, McCaffrey. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Now Newton on third and goal. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. And he is going to be stopped on the return at his own three-yard line. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Check two. Check three, check three. Back near his goal line, Brissette. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. From the gun, here's Brissett. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. They knew they were going to have great field position, went all out, got a little too aggressive. And you have to understand your angles. They'll cut down when they're that backed up. You've got to be careful going after him. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. They'll throw again. Brissett. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Brissett again. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And in the air once more, it's Brissett. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Brissett now. 
He's going to walk this one deep left sideline. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw, Brissett. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. 17 there and a New Orleans first down. That catch, by the way, number 542 in his NFL career, that draws him level with Lance Allworth, who was a Hall of Famer with the Chargers back in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, the man they call Bambi, so if you're in that type of territory, catch the same number of passes he caught, you know you're on your way to a big-time career. And just think, he's not through yet. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Out of the gun, Brissett. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Second and 10 now from the 27. Reset. They complete it to Hill. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. And they've got another first and 10 as the penalty keeps this drive moving. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, I need you to check my eyes here. This entire unit defensively, I think, has looked really strong in the first half, especially in the secondary. They've been cohesive, fast to the football. We just saw another example arriving there to help knock that one away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Brissett. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Mike On third down, Brissett. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll run it with Camara. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. From back at the four, here's second and goal. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. I got one. I got one. I got one. Throw it. Brissette. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Traquan Smith, the intended receiver, but now it's third and goal. Third down and four. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. 59, check, check, 59. Stay with your man. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Josh Hill in the final seconds of the first half as they are now on the board here in the first half. What's good on the extra point? And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. Now a hit and a loose football. 
And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he brings it back. Can you believe it? An offensive disaster on the final play of the first half. They just had to hold on to the ball. So problems here on special teams, and it results in the scoop and the score. They talk all the time on special teams about keeping your head on a swivel, trying to see the whole field. Hard to do when things are going that fast, bodies all over the place. You're just trying to find the right guy to align yourself with. On that play, wow. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Now a play fake here on first down. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. A shotgun snap for Newton. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. It'll be a gain of 15 on the play, and that'll make it second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now, the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. His first touchdown on the year. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Elliott good with a PAT. And we are tied at 14. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. On the ground, Camara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Luke Keekley combines speed, intelligence, toughness, puts it all together. It makes plays like one we just saw there. He may not be a big-time blitzer, but, boy, he knows how to pursue straight ahead and make plays in the run game. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. The keeper nets him only a yard, and that's going to bring up fourth. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, 
most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 23. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Second and 11 at the 23-yard line. What he can't hang. Greg, Greg. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. They know that old expression. It's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cameron Jordan, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Brissett sets to throw it. And this one complete to Smith. That catch good for five. It's third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off. Deep. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brian Burns, it's his 20th sack of the season as he continues what could be a record-setting campaign. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. This is taken around the 12. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. First down, Panthers. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. After the run, Newton going to throw. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Back-to-back good. Back good plays have them on the move on first down. Watch the slant. Watch the Jack Rabbit. Come on. Let go. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Eight, eight, out of the gun, Newton. Buying 
time to his left. Thomas has got it complete. A really nice gain of 25 yards. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. They so come up here on first and 10. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window and everything is flipped in the other direction. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. They begin on the ground with Kamara. Taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now the set. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's Brissett. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brian Burns in there for the sack, and that is now 21 for him on the year. Wow, what a season. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. This is brought in at the 21. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. It's a game of seven. Brings up second and three. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. On first down, it's Newton. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. Newton now perfect since the second half started, 7 of 7. It's first and 10. Now Newton, they'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. A good convergence there defensively, only a yard and it's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed, but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Getting down to the good stuff, all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. 
Throwing again on second down. Newton, and he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Newton. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Newton to throw. And he finds a man. It's McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and goal. Now Newton to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. So can this New Orleans defense stand tall again? Third and goal. Now it's Newton. Steps away to his left. And he's got his man. It's Samuel. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel with touchdown number seven on the year. And they are able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. Elliott Good on the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They're down here in a one-score game. At the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time Gives them a chance to run their offense. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. The Panthers down to a knee out of the victory formation. It's a loss of a yard, and it's third down. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And you've got to say, CD, it was the defense who had a big part in the W. Oh, without question, when you force four turnovers, you get to enjoy the spoils of victory, don't you? It's rare that you force four turnovers and lose a ball game. That's almost unheard of. They carried this one home. He talked about celebrating with each other and being in a position where going forward, all you think about is, let's get five next time. They're gonna be on the hunt.